Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Panawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred beast, in which you partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered. Our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where we live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. Let us meditate in the glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. The second glorious mystery is the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third glorious mystery the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, who are ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. 
Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy True Pastor and Father of Souls, He labored strenuously to safeguard the integrity of the faith, and vigorously defended the unity of the Church. He pushed back, or at least softened, the onrush of the barbarians. He has then deservedly won the title, The Great. He died in 461. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth shall declare your, your praise. praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us to belong to Him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ. Chief Shepherd of the Flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the Flock. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. My heart is ready, O God. I will sing, sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations, I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens, and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. O come and deliver your friends, help with your right hand and reply. From his holy place, God has made this promise. I will triumph and divine the land of Shechem. I will measure out the valley of Sokol. Gilead is mine and Manasseh. Ephraim I take for my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. Moab I will use for my washbowl. On Edom I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines I will shout in triumph. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me to face to face with Edom? Will you utterly reject us, O God, and no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. Will God, we shall do bravely, and he will trample down our foes. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has robed me with grace and salvation. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation, and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants, and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not be silent, for Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet, until her vindication shines forth like the dawn, and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication, and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall men call you forsaken, or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight, and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you, and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you, and as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will praise my God all the days of my life. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to play, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. The Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord who protects the stranger, and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O oh God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded in the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Hear, O kings, and understand. Learn, you magistrates of the earth expanse. Hearken, you who are in power over the multitude, and lord it over the throngs of peoples. Because authority was given you by the Lord, and sovereignty by the Most High, who shall probe your works and scrutinize your counsels. Because, though you were ministers of his kingdom, you judged not rightly, and did not keep the law, nor walk according to the will of God. Terribly and swiftly shall he come against you, because judgment is turned for the exalted. For the lowly may be pardoned out of mercy, but the mighty shall be mightily put to the test. For the Lord of all shows no partiality, nor does he fear greatness. Because he himself made the great as well as the small, and he provides for all alike. But for those in power, a rigorous scrutiny impends. To you, therefore, O princess, 
are my words addressed, that you may learn wisdom and that you may not sin. For those who keep the holy precepts, hallowed shall be found holy, and those learned in them will have ready a response. Desire therefore my words, long for them, and you shall be instructed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Defend the lowly and the fatherless. Render justice to the afflicted and the destitute. Rescue the lowly and the poor from the hand of the wicked. Deliver them. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. I said you are gods, all of you sons of the Most High. Yet like men you shall die and fall like any prince. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Please stand. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord as jesus continued his journey to jerusalem he traveled through samaria and galilee as he was entering a village ten lepers met him they stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going there, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned glorifying God in a loud voice, and he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Kapag ka ikaw po ay nakatanggap ng isang bagay na hindi mo naman deserve, ano po ang sasabihin natin? Thank you. Ito po ay lumang, sabihin na natin, lumang tradisyon, lumang tinuturo sa atin, o luma na o hanggang ngayon tinuturo natin sa ating mga anak. Hindi ba? Kapag binigyan ka ng isang bagay, hindi mo naman deserve, Anong sasabihin mo? Thank you. Bakit? You don't deserve it. Ganun lang yun. At kapag ka nakareceive ka na isang bagay na hindi mo nga deserve, and out of gratitude, you say, Thank you. That is why in life, the best attitude is gratitude. 
Kaya kung tatanungin ko kayo ang pagsamba nyo ba dito ay obligasyon ninyo o ay expression ng pasasalamat o pagmamahal. Because gratefulness is an expression of our love for God. Kaya ka pupunta dito sapagkat ikaw po ay nagpapasalamat. Tsaka mas madaling magsimba o magsamba sa Diyos kapag ikaw po ay nagpapasalamat. Madalas kasi, naka, minsan kapag ka nakarinig ako ng Father, magsisimba kami during Sundays sapagkat it is our obligation. Hindi niyo po obligasyon. It is not just your obligation to hear Mass. It should be seen as an expression of your gratitude. Hindi ba mas madali kapag ka ikaw po'y pupunta sa isang bagay o sa isang event o sa isang tao, pupunta ka doon dahil gusto mong magpasalamat. Mas magaan ata yung disposition na yun kaysa sa the word na obligasyon. Obligasyon ko kasi, Father, eh. Minsan napipilitan ka. But if you say that attending Mass is an act of gratitude with smile on your hearts, mas madaling gawin. Hindi ba? Sa Ibanghelong binasa natin, mapapansin natin na merong sampung gumaling na may sakit na leprosy. Ewan ko lang kung nakakita na ba kayo ng may sakit na leprosy. During those times, kapag may sakit ka po na leprosy, ikaw po ay outcast ng society. Kumbaga sa ano eh, wala kayo. You're nobodies. At during those times, sabi nga, lahat ng mga may ketong, they just shout from a distance, have mercy on us. Bawal kasing lapitan. Parang ngayon, di ba, pag may COVID ka, bawal kang lapitan. And during those times, ang mga may ketong, may bell sa paa at may bell sa leeg. It is to show to people, to warn people, na andito kami, huwag kayong lumapit dito sa amin, makamahawa kayo. Ganun katindi. They were outcast of the society. Kaya ganun na lang yung pagsisigaw nila nung marinig nila na dumaan si Kristo. Sumisigaw sila, Lord, have pity on us. Ganun katindi ang sakit na yun. Hindi lamang ito physical na sakit, kundi spiritual, emotional, lahat. Outcast kayo. At madalas tingin sa inyo, mga makasalanan, parusa ng Diyos. It's a curse. Kaya ganun katindi yung sakit na yun. Inong pinagaling ni Kristo, sinabi niya sa kanila na, Okay, Go yourself, go and show yourself to the priest. Bakit ganon? Sa pagkat during those times, the one who would declare that you are healed, na pwede ka na bumalik sa society, ay ang mga pare. Yep, go and show yourself to the priest. And while doing it, this. Lepers were cured. You see, makikita natin dito that while doing and holding on to the promise of God of healing, sila po'y gumaling. Minsan sa buhay ganun eh. You hold on to the, to the words of God. Go and show yourself to the priest. While doing the words of God, you are healed. Ang problema dito, bakit isa lang yung bumalik? at foreigner pa. May komentary, sabi kasi, hindi siya pwede pumunta sa templo, yung Samaritan. Bakit? Kasi Samaritan siya. A pagan by standard, according to the Jews. So hindi siya pwede pumunta sa templo, Samaritan siya eh. At during those times, ang Samaritan, 
at ang mga Hudyo ay magkalaban. Kaya nga, on the part doon sa Samaritan, napakatamis ng pagtanggap niya ng healing sapagat alam niya na bagamat hindi niya deserve sapagat hindi siya Hudyo. Pinagaling pa rin siya ng Diyos. Ang tanong doon eh, bakit yung Siam Father, hindi sila bumalik? Maaring sinasabi, maaring pumunta sa templo, o maaring meron silang attitude of entitlement. The Jews, feeling daw nila, entitled sila for healing because they are part of the people of God. They are part of the chosen people, the Jews. Kaya sabi nga, kapag ka feeling mo entitled ka, di ba? People who are entitled, they don't give thanks. Why? Entitled ka nga eh. Pag may attitude ka na ganyan, na po mahirap yan, feeling mo entitled ka sa lahat ng bagay. Ah, mga, mga kabataan ngayon, maraming ganyan. Hindi marunong magpasalamat. Why? Entitled kami, Father. We deserve it. Pero ano yung naramdaman nung Samaritan? Ang naramdaman niya, hindi sa entitled for that healing. And yet, God healed him. So, ganun katindi yung kanyang pagpupuri sa Diyos at pagpapasalamat. Kaya nga, kung titingnan natin, yung mga hudyo pumunta sa templo. Pero itong taong ito, yung Samaritan na to, he is blessed. Not because he is healed, he is blessed because he discovered and he knew the very source of healing. Kaya minsan, yan yung tatandaan natin. You are blessed not because you are healed. You are blessed because you have found the true source of your healing. Nakita niya nakilala niya ang pinagmulan ng grasya niya. Gratitude is always looking for the source. Kaya, kaya, kaya tayo nandito, kaya tayo nagsisimba. We go back to the source. We go back to the origin. Ang pinagmulan ng lahat. Kaya ka po nagpapasalamat dahil hindi gumaling ka, binipinagbigyan ka, kundi ang mas mahalaga sa lahat, ikaw po'y pinagpala sapagkat nakita mo at nakilala mo ang pinagmulan ng lahat. Kaya ang sabi ni Kristo sa kanya eh, sa huling part, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. He has found the Messiah and that is enough for Him. Kaya ganun din siguro sana mag attitude natin sa buhay. There are certain things in life that we don't deserve. And yet God would give us that because He loved us. And what we can do is to have that attitude, the attitude of gratitude, of finding the very source of our blessing, the very source of our healing. We don't do things because we want it. It's our obligation. We do it as an act of gratitude. Di ba kapag ka nagpapasalamat ka, pag binabalik mo isang bagay, at kung ano man nagpapasalamat ka, di ba may ngiti sa iyong mga mukha? Ewan ko lang kung may nagpapasalamat ba dito na nakasimangot. Meron ba? Gratefulness would always tell us that God has blessed us, that God has given us more, that God will always be with us. We are blessed if we have, if we hold on to that. Let us all stand. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father that we may give us, God gives us so much grace, healing, pardon, but we take Him for granted. We forget to thank Him. Let us bring our prayers to Him in a spirit of gratitude. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer.
that the Church on earth may continue to heal broken lives in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may praise and thank God for the gifts of life, faith, health, happiness, and the warmth of family, friends, and community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may always give thanks in every aspect of our lives for the love that God lavished on us by adopting us as his children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, for our parents, relatives, benefactors, and friends, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prior provincial and for our brothers and ministry at Bahay Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may join the saints in the worship in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, for our personal intentions and the intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we thank you for, the, uh, for our lives and the new life you have given us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, get the all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hearts that become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, get the all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hearts that become our spiritual thing. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to the right and just of our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us in the festival of Saint Leo, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down His Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time He was betrayed and entered willingly into His passion, He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to His disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours, forever and ever. All stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy yes. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the school to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I believe in the love of God, the owner of everything, who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of who I am and what I have done, and in spite of the infidelities he knows I will still commit. I believe in the prayer of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus, because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give and will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow. For tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few. For I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. 
I praise the Lord for his kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please all stand. Strengthened by Christ, blessed Peter has remained steadfast as a rock in his guidance of the church. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Strengthened by Christ, blessed Peter, Peter has remained steadfast as a rock in his guidance of the Church. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the Church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. May God, may God our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty, Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of Rosary Manawat, so that the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and religious articles and images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.